I get a lot of questions from people asking me if they should go to school for computer science, and I have a lot of good reasons why you shouldn't. Before we start, I wanted to give a special thank you to our sponsor, Dot Tech Domains. So if you're looking to register a website, be sure to check out the link in the description to get a really good deal on a Dot Tech extension. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the sponsor here in a little bit. For now, I wanna dive in and talk about the first reason why you shouldn't go to college for computer science. A lot of people are asking me these questions, hey, should I study computer science? and they've never coded or they've barely scratched the surface. And then they sign up for this four year program and they find that they're absolutely miserable. <laughs> and the harsh reality is, is that if you go into a program like computer science, there is a high probability that you're going to end up in a career coding. Not all the time, <laughs> but there's a high chance. And if you do, you're probably going to be miserable, you're going to get fat, and then you're gonna die. <laughs> I'm two of those, but <laughs> I think part of the reason why people are not enjoying coding is because they're looking at it in the wrong perspective. They think that coding is the end result. Like now that I study computer science, I get to code, <laughs> but that's really not what it is. Coding is a tool that is used to build solutions. So if you go into programming or computer science, then you should expect to be building innovative technology. And oftentimes, this technology is rooted in helping others solve problems. So it's more than just coding, it's ultimately having the opportunity to be able to help the world. I was really inspired to do this video by another YouTuber, Joma Tech, and he did a video, Don't Be a Programmer. He did a much better job of putting this into words. Hopefully he doesn't mind, I just thought I'd put a little preview of his video here. When you think about it, programming is actually kind of boring. You're just giving a series of instructions to a machine over and over again until you get it right. I don't want to speak for all of you, but I think if the pay wasn't great, I don't think a lot of you would spend hours and hours every night in front of your computer trying to learn how to code or to just debug your program. Sometimes we get caught up learning languages or doing coding challenges or fantasizing about you know working for these big tech companies that we forget why we wanted to learn programming in the first place. You wanted to program because you saw the amazing things that can be built using programming. So don't just learn how to program. Build something that matters. Build something that means something to you. Build something that solves a problem. You're a problem solver, a creator, an innovator. You're not a programmer. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check out that full video. It's very good and very inspiring. And I just really believe that if you're going to go into computer science, you need to think beyond just programming. And if after watching this video and really thinking about it, you're still not motivated to go into computer science, then that might be a really good sign that it's not a career path for you. The second reason why I'm telling you not to study computer science is if you are in the workforce already. Now, obviously this isn't going to apply to everybody, but in the majority of cases, if you are already in the workforce, then going back to school is not necessary. I feel like society puts a lot of pressure on people saying that you need a degree in whatever you end up going to do as a career. And that's just not the case, especially so with something like computer science. And the main reason I can say especially for computer science is because if you get a programming job or a computer science related job, you are going to have to continually learn new stuff on your own. That's part of the job description. Usually if you need that extra structure from college, that's okay. But in general, you need to be a self-starter and be motivated to learn and figure out what is important, what's, what's essential for you to succeed. And then you need to go learn those things. You might go to computer science school and learn the foundation, but then as soon as you graduate, you're gonna start forgetting that stuff right away. And if you're not keeping up on your skills and your coding chops, you're gonna, you're gonna fall pretty quickly. And then you're gonna be back in the situation where you were four or five years ago without a computer science degree. Now I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, people look at the degree and that's how you get in a job. And that is sometimes the case. And what I can say to that is, you definitely want to make sure you have a good portfolio. A portfolio is essentially a collection of all of your work so people can understand what you're good at. If you do this, you probably wanna host this on your own website. So I would recommend buying your own domain, which is where our sponsor can help. .tech is a fairly new domain extension being launched in 2015. So there is still a lot of available websites out there. So more than likely, whatever you want your website name to be, there's a higher chance of it being available on a .tech extension versus a .com or a .org. <laughs> a lot of technology companies are picking up the .tech extension such as Intel, 
CES, Consumer Electronics Show, and there's plenty more. If you haven't registered a domain yet, I definitely recommend .tech because people are gonna know exactly what your website's about before even visiting it. So check that out, guys. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description or you can visit tech.calebcurry.com. And yes, my website is .com, but this is a domain and website I've been building up for numerous years. Now, back to what we were saying. If you're in the situation where you are in the workforce and you wanna get into coding, but you're not in a coding job right now, you might not even be in a technical job. Well, there are a ton of resources to learn online. For example, I have a C programming crash course. I'll leave a link for that for you guys in the description. I also have tons of programming videos and database videos here on YouTube. There's resources such as Free Code Camp, which is a great way to learn full stack web development. There are a ton of resources out there. So to conclude number two, don't buy into the lie that you need a degree, build a portfolio, and be motivated to learn on your own with resources available online. And the third reason is fairly simple, and that's just time. This might be hard to believe, but going through a four-year program can sometimes take four years. <laughs> that's just a lot of time that you could be investing into other things, such as building a startup company, spending time with family, or watching Netflix. Life doesn't all have to be knowledge and achievement and work. <laughs> Honestly, it's a huge sacrifice to go to school, not only in time, but financially, and you have to weigh the opportunity cost is it really worth it to give that time and that money? Especially when more than likely only a fraction of the content you learn is going to be used in a job setting. So hopefully if you were planning on going into computer science, I didn't totally discourage you. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do here. All I'm trying to say is that computer science is not for everyone. What do you guys think? Are those three reasons accurate? What are some other reasons? And for those of you who are studying computer science, why? What made you, what made you wanna do that? 